there is still so much to be done in the area of health care. And what we saw with the Affordable Care Act is the expansion so folks could get access to health insurance. But what it didn't do was lower the cost of health care. So that's what I have been focused on, especially when it comes to prescription drugs, which I've heard from Iowans is one of the most expensive parts of their health care. So I have uh, worked on what was called the CREATES Act, which did allow for the introduction of more generics into the system, creating competition. And I'm also a co-sponsor on Senator Grassley's bipartisan drug prescription bill, which would again lower more of those costs for all Americans. We absolutely must protect people with pre-existing conditions. My sister and my brother are both type 1 diabetics. They've uh, lived on insulin their entire lives. So this is an important issue for me. So don't let others tell you I'm not going to protect people with pre-existing conditions. I absolutely will make certain that that happens. And then as well, um, you asked the differences with my opponent. My opponent has stated while she doesn't support Medicare for all, which we'll see how that transpires, um, but she does say she supports the public option. The public option is just a truck stop on the road to Medicare for all. And what it would do, according to an independent study, is bankrupt up to 52 of Iowa's rural health care systems, which is absolutely unacceptable to me and the Iowa ones I represent. We know how important those rural health care systems are. I'm part of one of those rural health care systems. I re still reside in Montgomery County, Iowa, in the far southwest corner of our state. Um, living in a rural area has enough challenges without Teresa Greenfield trying to bankrupt uh, the very support systems we need to thrive and survive in rural America. Healthcare is the number one topic, whether it is premiums, deductibles, out-of-pocket expenses. Our seniors are getting gouged for prescription drug costs. We've got mental health care, addiction care issues, and hospital issues. And I'll tell you, a rural hospitals, uh, Medicaid expansion has been a lifeline to them. So the Affordable Care Act, you know, it included a number of uh, essential services, uh, and we need to protect those. But it also allowed for Medicaid expansion, which we took here in Iowa, and it has kept their lights on. I sat down with the Boone County Hospital leadership and toured their hospital and also talked about their books, their finances, and how they pay the bills. And it is clear Medicaid expansion has been helpful. Iowans need to know that Senator Joni Ernst voted repeatedly to end the Affordable Care Act, which would end that Medicaid expansion, which would cause hospitals like the Boone County Hospital potentially to close. And it wasn't just her vote against the Affordable Care Act. In 2013, as an Iowa State Senator, she voted against the Medicaid expansion. Senator Ernst isn't a supporter of our rural hospitals. Now, I think healthcare is something we all have to have. And so I support enhancing and strengthening the Affordable Care Act. We've got a lot of tools in our toolbox there, but that enhancement includes creating a public option. A public option is gonna just create that competition in the marketplace for insurance. It's gonna help drive down those costs. And it's also gonna make sure that everybody has a place to get insurance that they need. For example, in COVID, we have seen, if you've lost your job and you relied on employer-based health insurance, you have no place to go to get insurance for you and your family. That public option would help you. Um, I am committed to making sure that we have high quality, affordable, and accessible health uh, services for all Iowans and Americans.